Hello and welcome. Today I'll be showing you how to make a quick and easy lemon chicken. You want to take your chicken breast and slice it in half. Place it in your bag or you can use saran wrap to do this next step. Take your meat tenderizer and just pound it. If you don't have a meat tenderizer, you can use a cup, something heavy that can even out the chicken breast for you. If you notice when you cook chicken, you get the chicken breast that's a little bit thicker and then it goes thin. We wanna flatten it, not completely, but just enough so that it cooks evenly. For those of you that have sensitivity to the way chicken smells, you don't wanna skip this step. In this bowl, I have some baking soda, and what this is gonna do is gonna help eliminate that smell that you're sensitive to, and it's also gonna help keep our chicken nice and tender. So this is where you wanna use either, you know, your plastic container or Ziploc bag will work and you just wanna mix it around, okay? Once you've coated the chicken with the baking soda, you wanna let this set here for about 10 to 15 minutes. Next, you wanna rinse your chicken thoroughly. Place your chicken on a paper towel and pat dry. Inquiring minds want to know if the chicken's gonna taste like paper towels with this step. No, it's not. Okay, I didn't think so. I thought you were gonna say, did you wash your sink with soap and disinfect it? Yes, I encourage you guys that after you wash your chicken that you disinfect your sink. That's very important, amigos. Take your favorite mixing bowl and add all-purpose flour, cornstarch. If you don't have cornstarch, you can use potato starch, garlic powder, salt. Combine your ingredients. Add your chicken, and you just wanna make sure that we're coating our chicken completely. So you've coated your chicken, shake it off, and this recipe is good for about four chicken breasts. You'll need some olive oil, butter, lemon juice, cilantro, onion, garlic, black pepper, Mexican oregano, chicken bouillon, and some water. Set your pan on a medium heat and add your olive oil, your butter. Make sure you place the butter right on top of your olive oil. We wanna prevent that butter from burning. Place your coated chicken in your pan. Make sure not to crowd your pan with your chicken. We're gonna to continue to cook on each side for three minutes. Flip your chicken. And continue to cook for another three to four minutes. Once you've seared your chicken, go ahead and take your pieces out. And set them to the side. Once you've seared your chicken, you're gonna add your onions. Oh, I love onions so much. Oh, it smells so good. Ay, Dios mío. I love when you use lemon in your recipes. You know how to use them to perfection. Oh, thank you. Good my favorite. favorite. We're gonna continue to cook our onions for about a minute and a half, okay? If we add our garlic right now, we're just gonna end up achieving a burn and that's not what we want. We wanna be able to taste the delicious flavors of our garlic, our onion. Ooh, it's gonna be magical, I mean, hang tight. Oh, God. as soon as the onions hit the pan, I knew it was gonna be magic. Make sure to engage with your food and bring in the aroma. It smells so good. It smells like those onion uh, packets, those gravy onion packets, mm -hmm. so good. After about a minute and a half, you wanna add your garlic and continue to cook for another 20 to 30 seconds. Just here, you know, stirring it up. Practice your dance moves. Yep. We'll shake here, we'll shake there. Mmm, it just keeps getting better. I'm gonna start carrying bread in a, in a holster belt. Let's see. Right, and just like, take out my baguette and dip it in your sauce. Like those those treat packs? Yes. Oh my gosh, you're out of control. <laughs> <laughs> After about 20 to 30 seconds, you want to add your water. 
Add your chicken bouillon, your black pepper, add your lemon juice, and for those of you that are feeling a little bit extra, you can splash a little bit of half and half heavy cream at this moment, give you more of a creamy flavor. Stir all your ingredients and continue to cook for another three to four minutes. Next what you want to do is you want to put your burner on a low heat and you want to get your Mexican oregano and make sure to crumble it well with the tips of your fingers just like this. Sprinkle it in. For those of you that are feeling extra, you want to add your sliced lemon. And you just want to cook this for another 45 seconds to a minute. After about 45 seconds to a minute, you can start adding your chicken pieces. Just make space in your pan however you can. Now I'm just going to continue to cook on a low temperature for another two minutes. And while I'm doing that, I'm just going to come with a little spoon and pour over because we don't want to flip this chicken again once we set it down. I mean, you can, but I don't. We're going to do what you do. We're not flipping it. No flipping chicken today. We're not going to flip anything today. And for those of you that flip birds to de-stress, more power to you. <laughs> not the juice club. Junior, you guys no, are no, not no. allowed to do that. Get a juice box. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so beautiful. Thank you, thank you. And after about two minutes, you want to sprinkle in some cilantro. If you don't have cilantro, you can use some parsley. You can use some green onion. You can make it comfortable for your home, amigos. I love sprinkles, so I'm taking my time sprinkling this in. <laughs> you guys can just toss it in all at once, but... I love all the romance today. Oh, thanks, thanks. Turn your burner off and boom, done, amigos. We are ready to taste this delicious lemon chicken. Amigos, do not look away. I like to have my lemon chicken with some purpled pickled onions. It just really amplifies the flavor. And I'm just going to set them here to the side. Lemons make me so happy. Perfection. Friends, get ready. Your family's going to love it. It's nice, refreshing. It's tender, it's juicy. You don't dry out your chicken and you have the perfect balance to lemon chicken here. Ooh, the ratios are perfect. I agree with you. Mm. And you know the purple onions? They give it that delicious tartness that you're also wanting to balance because I've had this with capers, which I love, but I really like it with the pickled purple onions. You did a great job on them, Cloud. Thank you. Mm. For those of us that caught us on the leg. I love how soft it is. Nothing got soggy in here. Like it's just perfect. It really is yummy. Amigos, let us know if you make this recipe. Come back and let us know in the comments if you liked it, what your family thought. And we'd like to thank our mama raiders, our data raiders, and we now have grandma raiders. So, Grandpa Raiders, <laughs> let us know in the comments if you want to be moderators to our channel when we go live, and we'd love to accommodate you. You do have to be subscribed, and you do have to have the bell on for notifications to be a moderator. And show up often. Be a views club. We love y'all. Mm. Mm. What do you like to pair this with? Vegetables. You can do it with rice. Uh, calabacitas is usually what I like to pair You can do it with dishes. pasta. Mm -hmm. And you can make the same steps, chop it up, and you can actually put this on a tostada. And let me tell you, it's amazing. Mm. Girl, 
Pierre Rico. As always, Cloud and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye!